All right, folks, so Alyssa is going to show us some progressions for the kettlebell swing, and I'm gonna talk you through. So you're gonna start with the deadlift. And the deadlift is simply just picking weight up off the ground. Now, there's a few key points you wanna notice about this movement. First is the hips are moving back, not necessarily down, and that is a key distinction. So what you wanna imagine is that you're trying to push the butt back to reach the wall behind you. Your knees will bend, but they won't come forward, and your back will stay flat. From there, you're gonna push your heels into the ground, drive the hips forward into a full standing position. The kettlebell should be placed and picked up from right between your feet. So this is the deadlift, and is the first step toward the kettlebell swing. All right, so the next progression toward the kettlebell swing is something called the high pull catch. And all we're doing here is learning to add a little bit of power to the movement. So the kettlebell swing is a ballistic exercise. It should be very explosive. So what we're going to do is practice that deadlift pattern, that hinge pattern of the hips going back and then snapping forward as quickly as possible. When done right, this should accelerate the bell upwards and you're going to catch it by the horns or the sides of the handle in the goblet squat position. So the point of this drill is to teach you to generate power from the hips because that is where the kettlebell swing is powered from. So you're gonna do a few reps here just to get into the groove and get used to driving the heels hard into the ground and almost jumping into a standing position. Now you won't leave the ground, so what I want you to think is that you're jumping through your heels. Pop just like that. Explosive, crisp, and controlled. That is the high pull catch, and our next step will be the kettlebell swing. Okay folks, time for the kettlebell swing. So you'll notice the setup is slightly different this time. You're gonna start about a foot behind the kettlebell. From there, you're going to push your hips back, keep the back flat, grab the kettlebell, and every set of swings should start with a strong hike. So you're gonna throw the kettlebell back into the hips like a football, and then explode into a tall standing position. The movement from here is repetitive and explosive, right? So we wanna focus on jumping through the heels, snapping the hips forward, and finishing tall, not leaning back. So we'll do another set. Again, a proper setup is required, so hips go back, and we start with the hike. Listen to the breathing as well. In on the way down, out on the way up. In through the nose, out through the mouth. Short, sharp breaths, making the movement powerful and crisp. That is the kettlebell swing.